How's it going, YouTube? Um, as you can see, this is Linux Mint 14 Nadia. It is the RC version. It, the stable version has not been released yet. But I did a full install on this RC version, and it seems to be working great. I have not tried Minecraft yet, so we, we still have some tests to do on it. But <clears throat> other than that, it seems to be working fine. All the hot corners seem to be working great. You can now name your uh, desktops, and you also have this cool little trash can. I find it very useful. If I open up a window, oops. Damn it. There we go. And you can put it down here in the trash can. Uh, I find it to be a very stable distro for an RC, and. Uh, I can't wait to see the uh, stable release. <laughs> I do like this. Uh, I do like 14. They have added a lot of cool little features, <clears throat> such as this notifications manager and this little doohickey over here that shows you what desktop you're on and what is running on that desktop. And I do believe if you click on whatever is running, it'll bring it to the front. I'll open up like three things. Let's see, uh, terminal, yep. I think that's awesome. But let's go over here to the menu, or chest, whatever you name it. Um, you got your accessories, which is all your archive manager, your disks, your files, font viewer, all that stuff, gedit, basic accessories that Linux Mint comes with. Your graphics such as GIMP image editor, all your image editing tools and viewer and in, uh, import man, import client, all that stuff. You have your internet, your browser, your email, your BitTorrent, all that cool stuff that it comes with. A whole office suite that comes with Excel basically and PowerPoint and Word. And this little drawing application. You got your sound and video, your iTunes, your Linux iTunes, which is Banshee Media Player, or Banshee Media, I guess, I don't know. Uh, Basario, the GNOME Player, this is what I use for uh, recording. Uh, it doesn't come with this. Movie Player and your sound recorder, VLC Media Player, for playing movies, obviously. Uh, your system tools, your system log, your disk usage analyzer, G GDebbie package manager, system monitor, system settings, all that cool stuff, system tools, preferences, this is for your customization purposes, your preferences like for your desktop and all that cool stuff. If you go to your cinnamon settings, that's where you will find all your desktop settings like background you change your background here and customize your menu thing here uh, we go down here to administration this is all your administrative tools that you would need a password to access your documents and all your music pictures videos downloads all that junk and your recent files this just shows what files you have recently created or downloaded I guess um, I don't have I have not downloaded anything yet I'm just installed this. It's fresh install. Pretty much the only thing I have on here is Minecraft and my image and my screencasting software, which I'm using now to record this video. Uh, they've changed a few icons, such as the Firefox icon, and this used to be a star. They changed that icon to a package. That is your software manager. This is your files uh, icon. They changed it from a shell to a folder icon. And of course, your lock screen, your logout, and your quit. Shut down your computer. Um, that's pretty much it, actually. It's it's pretty much Linux Mint 13 with a lot of improvements. Uh, they didn't, haven't really added much new software. There is the latest version of, I believe, let's see, of Iced T Web Control and Java Development Kit 7 is the latest version. So it does come with the latest version of Java. So you don't have to worry about that. So you can play Minecraft without having to go and download the Java JDK runtime. It comes with it. And don't forget, uh, let's see what else. 
Oh, I guess that's it. It comes with all the basic stuff. So, so if you're a Linux Mint user, you'll know what all this is. If not, just shoot me a shoot me a comment or a message, and I'll anybody who has any questions about how to use something on here, I will. I'll if I don't know how to do it already, I will research it and I will let you let you post a video on how to do whatever you ask me to do. Um. Oh yeah, one more thing, guys. Uh, you go here to this website, your homepage. You go here, and there is a problem with Linux Mint because it is the RC version. It's not the stable release, so don't expect it to be perfect. Although it almost is perfect. Uh, it says it is not possible to install Skype, Google Earth, or any 32-bit applications in Linux Mint 14 RC 64-bit because uh, an upstream ch an upstream change occurred during. Uh, in Debian's dpackagers made multi-arch configuration in Ubuntu obsolete. That configuration was changed in Ubuntu and moved from dpackage to Ubiquity. Linux Mint uses an older version of Ubiquity by default. The problem wasn't detected in QA and impacts both uh, Mint and Mate 64-bit editions of Linux Mint 14 RC. There is a workaround to this problem. So if you cannot wait for the, uh, if you already have Linux Mint 14 installed, run these in your run these uh, commands in your terminal and it will work if you don't have it then it will be fixed manually in the stable release and you can just get that if you're planning on waiting for the stable release then you don't even need to worry about the issue so if you're still using 13 and are gonna wait just don't even worry about it but those of you have who are running this OS just run this in your terminal and it will work fine if you have any questions about it I will post a video on how to do this and I will show you guess how to do it but that's pretty much it with the new Linux Mint OS 14 the code name Nadia uh, there's a lot of cool stuff and for those of you who are switching from Windows to Linux this is a great OS to get very user-friendly uh, for those of you who don't like the terminal it's got a it's got a, a package installer and a software manager and it's highly highly customizable which unlike Windows you have to buy a bunch of programs to customize it this comes with a bunch of stuff and the KDE when it comes out is even more customizable but they have not released the KDE version yet but if you guys have any questions on how to use Linux Mint like I said shoot me a comment or a message and I will do my best to answer thanks for watching rate comment subscribe all that awesome stuff and I'll see you next video